Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know what time it is where you are, but certainly we are glad you joined us for our Sunday School lesson. This is lesson number nine for October the 31st, and it's based on Psalm 149, one through five, and then Psalm 150, one through six. Our, the name of our lesson is Celebrate Today. Celebrate today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but celebrate today today. So I hope you've continued to wash your hands, um, create some social distance, wearing your mask, and you know what I like to say, just plain old staying away from folks. So we'll get to our prayer, get started, and read our What's It All About. Let us pray. God, we thank you. We bless you. We lift you up. We magnify you. We thank you for the day in which you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we just want to say that we celebrate you on today. We thank you for today. We thank you for everything that you do for us, everything that you have done for us, and everything that you will do for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Celebrate today. What's it all about? Jemiah's cousin, Josiah, was excited to go to worship service with her family. Okay, Jay and Jay, finish up the kitchen so we can get in the car. Jemiah knows we would like to be settled and seated before the call to worship, mom explained. Before what, Josiah questioned. Jemiah hurried and answered, let's just go, I'll tell you. Before they were out of the neighborhood, Josiah asked, so what is it? What is what? Some kind of call that auntie says we must be seated before it happens. Oh yeah the call to worship. It's kinda like a chance to focus and remind yourself why, they're, why you're there to worship, sing praises and love on God. Think of it like t uh, your teacher saying, we are ready to begin. Get started on your warm up while I complete attendance. Or think about band practice and how the drum major blows her whistle signaling that it's time to pay attention. Okay, got it, Josiah said. Jemiah could tell that he didn't. Don't worry, you'll understand when you get here. Just keep your singing voice ready and you'll see what I mean. We take time, take that time to worship God through songs. The family was seated just as the five minute countdown began. The large red flashing numbers got Josiah's attention. I'm assuming that the call of worship starts when the numbers get to zero, right? Jemiah nodded and winked. True to their church's custom, when the countdown ended, the music and praise began and people all throughout the congregation started singing as their form of worship. Josiah leaned over to whisper to Jemiah. I get it now, she smiled. I think of, think of five people, things, or situations which you can praise and thank God for today. How will you worship him? So let's think of five things that we can thank God for today. Well, the first thing is you are alive. You woke up this morning. Um, hopefully you're in your right mind. You're alive. You're in your right mind. If you're watching this, you're able to see that's three. 
if you can hear my voice, you're able to hear. And number five, if you have a TV, tablet, phone, or whatever that you're connected to, to be able to see me, hear me, watch me, then that is number five. It is a blessing. I tell my kids all the time, it's a blessing just to have technology because people out there who can't get it, don't have it, or can't afford it. So all things, all things that we experience are a blessing. Even the hard things and the bad things and the sad things, they are all there to be a blessing. They're either a blessing because they teach you a lesson or they allow you to know that God is real and that God is good and that he takes care of us. Learning from God. God blesses us in more ways than we can even count. And we just counted five. He faithfully does it over and over. When we praise him, we, we bless him. The Psalms help us to put words to our feelings of gratitude and thankfulness. Psalm 149, one through five, Psalm 150, one through six in the NIV version. Praise the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with a temporal and heart. For the Lord delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let his faithful people rejoice in his honor and sing for joy on their beds. 150 says, praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of a trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the strings and with the pipe. Praise him with the clash of the cymbal. Praise him with the resounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So listen, we're going to lift up three things before you. They're all about praise. And let me tell you something. Praise is what I do. Praise is what we do. And if you don't, praise is what you should do. The last verse says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Does that mean that you have to be in the spirit to praise the Lord? Nope. It means that you have to have one thing in order to praise the Lord. You want to find out what that is? Let me tell you. Breath. If you have breath in your body, you can praise the Lord. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be a teacher. You don't have to be a minister. You don't have to be, you don't even have to be saved. What? Mama say what? Yes, you don't have to be saved to praise the Lord. It doesn't say that salvation is a requirement for praising the Lord. It says let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So let's go through these three points that we have and let's enjoy our day. But I want you to think about these things. When you come to church on Sunday or when you wake up on Sunday mornings and you're enjoying service with your parents or with whoever that you enjoyed service with, I want you to think about these things as a way to get your heart ready to receive a word from the Lord. So the first requirement of praise, what did I say it was? It was to have breath. Second thing you could do to give God praise is to sing a song. 
Listen, we sing plenty of songs on Sunday. The first song, the second song, the third song, all of those songs are giving God praise. They say things like hallelujah, praise the Lord, sing a song to the Lord, and that is a great way to give him praise. The second way to give God praise is to dance. Dancing is an excellent way to give God praise. Hey, dancing, God gave us dancing. God gave us twirling and moving, shouting. But dancing is an excellent way to praise the Lord. And the third way that we can praise the Lord is we can praise him with the instrument. Now, most of us <laughs> or some of us can't play the harp or cymbals or even a drum or organ or any of those things. But what you can do is you could clap your hands and use your voice. That is an instrument. There are lots of instruments out there that you can use. A tambourine. Those things make noises to give God praise. So I told you this wasn't going to take us long. What can you do to give God praise with your breath? Remember, it says, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You can sing, you can dance, and you can give him the sound of an instrument. But most importantly, it says, let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. So the next time you are in the sanctuary and we are all gathered together, don't forget, you can sing, you can dance, you can use your instrument to praise God. But whatever you do, praise God. That's all we want you to do. It helps set the atmosphere. It helps to change the way you feel. It helps to get you ready for the word of God. It's kind of like plowing up a field so that a seed can go and be planted. That does the same thing for your heart. Praise makes you glad. Praise brings about joy and happiness. Praise looks good on you. So let everything that have breath Praise ye the Lord. And listen, you don't even have to be embarrassed right now about praising God because you'll have on your mask. Nobody can see what you're saying and you and God can have a praise party without anybody knowing. So again, you can sing, you can dance, and you can pray, play your instrument. But whatever you do, let Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So I hope you've enjoyed our lesson today. I hope you will take those three things and praise God. I hope you don't wait until Sunday to do it. You can do all of those things at home, especially when you wake up in the morning. Praise makes your day go faster. It makes it go better. And you get to focus on the great things that are going on in your life. So again, I love you. So glad you joined us on this morning. Don't forget to wash your hands. Continue to wear your mask. Create some distance between you and people who you don't know. And just like Miss Gina always likes to say, just plain old staying away from folks. 
Tomorrow is November the 1st. I hope you will start something new, create a new habit in your life. Maybe start walking, start exercising, stop doing something that you've been trying to stop doing. The first day of the month is a great day to start something new. I hope you have a blessed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day it is that you're watching. And I hope you will celebrate God. Have a blessed day.